as operations continue on Oak Island. Here we are. Approximately 3,700 miles to the east, Rick Lagina, along with his nephews Alex and Peter, Oak Island historian Doug Kroll and researcher Corian Moll have arrived in Camerato, Italy, where they are meeting with researchers Emiliano Sacchetti and Alberto Recanatini. I'm so glad to see you guys. I uh, know you're interested in the underground system of Camerano because of the Oak Island Lead Cross. Building upon the research that was shared with the team back in 2016 by Rick's late friend, Zena Halpern. Emiliano has invited them to visit the enigmatic site known as the Camerano Caves, a system of man-made underground labyrinths which date back more than 2,500 years and which features a section that is shaped nearly identically to the 14th century lead cross that was found on Oak Island in 2017. So this is Alberto. He's been mapping and exploring these caves for 50 years, and he's going to be our guide today. Perfect. So why don't we go inside? There's no better time than now. Mm -hmm. Let's go Up on the ground. You. Although the town of Camerano, Italy, dates back to 1198, the first documented civilization in the region were the Piccini, who are believed to have created the underground cave system in the 6th century BC. Looks like the catacombs. Keeps going, huh? The area became part of the Roman Empire around 290 BC. It's huge. Wow. Keeps going. However, between the 12th and 14th centuries, it was re-established as a stronghold for the Knights Templar, who modified portions of the cave system for reasons that remain a mystery. The construct, it's incredible. It's large, it's massive. Wow. The hope is that there'll be a part of the system that Alberto can directly connect to possibly Templars or possibly to a belief system that is associated with the artifacts that we have found on the island. The Order of the Knights Templar has remained shrouded in mystery since it was established in 1118 in Jerusalem. They were headquartered on the original site of King Solomon's Temple for the purpose of protecting Christian interests in the Holy Land during the Crusades. They became extraordinarily wealthy by developing one of the world's first banking systems. But in 1307, they were disbanded by the Catholic Church and persecuted by the King of France for the alleged crime of heresy. However, some believe that the Templars were actually targeted because they had come into possession of many priceless religious treasures. Let's go to the Venus cave. Perfect. Follow you. Those sacred valuables have never been found, and researchers such as Corian and Emiliano believe that surviving members of the order smuggled them throughout Europe before ultimately hiding them in the New World on Oak Island. So we are now at the mouth of the Burkiani Cave, AKA the Venus Cave. Mm. And I'll leave it to Marco, who's uh, another very expert guide. The Burkiani Cave is one of the oldest caves in Camerano. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the shape is why we're here, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, because we think the, the shape of your cave completely matches the shape of the lead cross that was found uh, on our island. Uh, that's exciting. Mm. Yeah. OK. We have exclusive entrance to the cave, and if Emiliano and Rick want to visit, we could go. We would certainly love to see it. OK. Yeah, me too. Fantastic. This is what, in a church, you would call the transept, mm -hmm. right? We have the left arm, the right arm, and according to Alberto, there is a slight difference. This arm should be a bit longer than this one. Which is exactly what our lead cross exhibits. Is there really an intimate relationship between the lead cross found on Oak Island on, on the Smith's Cove Beach, what that cross represents and what this represents? And are they aligned? I think they are the same thing and I'm inclined to believe that this is a very important moment because it's uh, some sort of um, validation. 
Obviously, you know my friendship with Zena. Makes you get emotional, right? Because I reach out and touch this. Now, if this really is that, she was the one who guided us here, really. She helped us. And now maybe, maybe this will help us move the story forward. And that's, that's why we're here, really, is to make connections. To hear it from you means something. Yeah, I, I don't want to be emotional as well. <laughs> Lead on. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh, yeah. So there's another cave system that I would like to show you guys. Mm -hmm. And it's in Osimo. It's a few kilometers from Camerano. And I'm pretty sure you'll find it very interesting. I'd say yes. OK, let's go. So we're in Osimo, nearly 3,700 miles to the east, in the town of Osimo, Italy. I want to introduce you Fabrizio Bartoli. Pleased to meet you. Pleasure. Researcher Emiliano Sacchetti and Professor Fabrizio Bartoli, a historian and modern-day member of the Knights Templar, meet with Rick Lagina and other members of the team just outside an ancient site known as the Grotte Simonetti. Here, there's another amazing underground cave system. It's about 30 kilometers wide. Wow. There are some interesting carvings in these caves, and Fabrizio will show us and explain us the meaning of those carvings. Well, we're really interested to see what we might see in these caves. Why don't we step in? Yeah, can't wait. Well, look at that. Look at that across there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh, right there. Hey, Rick. Hmm? Check this out. That's cool. We have seen this symbol before. H.O. stone. Yeah. And that's a direct tie to Oak Island. In a cave system known as the Grande Simonetti in Osimo, Italy, Alex Lagina and his cousin Peter Fernetti have just found an ancient carving believed to have been made by members of the Knights Templar, matching one found on the so-called H.O. stone, which was discovered in the 1920s on Oak Island. Haven't we had some people who have thought, like, this is a symbol for gold? That is true, yes. Is it possible that Peter and Alex have found a symbol in the Grante Simonetti related to the sacred treasures that many believe the Templar Order smuggled out of Europe between the 12th and 14th centuries? If so, could the H.O. stone be a critical clue as to where they are located today? The circle with the dot, obviously, is represented on the H.O. stone. We are beginning to draw some connective tissue to perhaps Templar involvement on Oak Island. Kudos to both of you for finding that. It's impactful, it is. There's a lot more to learn.